in this presentation we have to talk about uh, stoichiometric ratio during synthesis process fixing the ratio of the compound is a significant task most researchers are getting confused and selecting improper proportions resulting in failure of their expectations this is due to a lack of knowledge on stoichiometric ratio stoichiometric describes the relationship between the reactants and the product of a chemical reaction see this is a balanced chemical reaction four moles of fe react with three moles of o2 and then provide two moles of fu2o3 then the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 2 4 represents 4 moles of fe 3 indicates 3 moles of o2 2 signifies signifies 2 moles of uh, fe2o3 now see this problem how many moles of o2 are needed to react with 10 moles of fe to provide ion 3 oxide here ion 3 oxide is our uh, fe2o3 ferric oxide given is 10 mol of fe the expected is how many moles of o2 here the given is taken as a the expected is taken as b which one is a fe is a which one is b o2 is b because we are going to calculate this now you have to develop a formula mole b the question is how many moles of o2 are needed b is our o2 so mole b that is equal to mole a into coefficient of b divided by coefficient of a this is the formula see mole a what is a fe how many moles they are given 10 moles that is 10 mole in the coefficient of b which one is b o2 in the above equation what is the coefficient of o2 3 so that coefficient of b is our 3 mole divided by coefficient of a which one is a fe is a in the equation what is the coefficient of fe 4 mole therefore this is 4 mole which is equal to mm get cancel 10m into 3 30 mole divided by 4 which is equal to 7.5 mole so the answer is we need 7.5 moles of o2 10 mole moles of fe plus 7.5 moles of o2 or add add it we can get fe2 o3 how many moles we can calculate see here 10 is to 7.5 what about the ratio say 4 into 2.5 is 10 3 into 2.5 is 7.5 so they are in the ratio of 4 is to 3 See this equation. The stoichiometric ratio is four is to three is to two. If you mix seven point five moles 
of O2 with the 10 moles of uh, Fe, we can harvest 5 moles of Fe2O3 because the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 2. The amount of Fe2O3 Fu2, Fu2 harvested should be half of the amount of uh, Fe taken. Therefore, if you take 10 moles of Fe and then mix 7.5 mole of O2, we can harvest 5 moles of uh, Fe2O3. Now the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 2. Here we can get 5 moles of uh, Fe2O3. In this way, we have to fix the compounds. To understand more, consider the second problem. How many moles of Fe are needed to harvest 1 mole of ion 3 oxide? Here given equal to 1 mole of Fe2O3. This is A. Expected is how many mole of Fe? This is B. Now mole B, which is equal to mole A into quotient of B divided by coefficient of A. Mole A that is 1 mole given 1 mole of 2 3 and here A is Fe2 O3 B is Fe coefficient of B what is the coefficient of Fe in this equation the balanced equation 4 so this is 4 mole which one is A Fe2 O3 what is the coefficient of Fe2O3 in the equation? 2 is 2 mole. So the result is 2 mole. 2, 4 by 2, 2, 2 into 1, 2. So 2 mole. Which means that 2 mole of Fe is taken. To provide one mole of Fe two O three. So the answer to this problem is two mole. They have asked how many moles of Fe are needed to harvest one mole of Fe two O three. To harvest one mole of Fe two O three, we should take. 2 mole of Fe, but they are not asking about how many moles of O2 is needed. Anyway, we have to maintain the ratio of the order of 4 is to 3 is to 2. 4 is to 3 is to 2. If it is the case, we have to add 1.5 mole of O2. So the entire equation is 2 mole of Fe plus 1.5 mole of O2 gives 1 mole of Fe2 O3.